Hi guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper, uh, Unique Paper 15 I should say. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I know it has been a very long time since I filmed, but here I am, still alive, and I thought I would film a little haul. Um, it's a collective haul over the past maybe two months, just little things here and there between getting holiday gifts and work and things like that. So I'm going to get to it because I'm hoping that this video gets up in this month. It is December 2017. I hope everybody is doing well and staying warm and excited for the holidays. So let's get to it. A little bit of haul, a little bit of happy mail. Okay, first things first. Um, I did buy the dome die set with the dome shaker things from my favorite things. I actually got it from Butterfly Reflections though because she had a good sale. Sorry, that's all kinked in there. But um, I forget what her deal was, but it was cheaper than getting it from My Favorite Things. So I got a really good sale deal on those. Got two packs. I think you get 10 in a pack is what it is. And they're a very good price. So got that set. Love it. I'm very, very in love with those shaker die set kind of things. Then I went to Neat and Tangled and I got the truck die. I thought about this for so long. Oh, should I, should I not? I don't know, it's like $50. I really thought about this for a while. And then um, somebody had, sorry if you guys hear some background noise, my husband's talking in the office. Um, and so it was a really good deal. I think it was 15 or 20% off for one day. I forget what the sale was. But I went ahead and got it and it came down to, I think, $36. So that I can do. And I also got some of those spring uh, sequin mixes. I got two bags. Neat and Tangled always makes the best sequins. So that. And these right here, this truck die, it's so cute. You have, this is, I made this for a UPS guy. But, um, sorry. So you can see, you can stuff stuff in there or um, and you can see I did not leave the windows open on this guy. I just decorated the windows, but left the top open. This one, he's completely closed, but yet I left the windows open if I want to put goodies inside like that or decorate windows and do like a three-dimensional type of thing. And I don't think I left this guy unglued. I did not. Now the third guy here is just basically the template. I was messing around with everything you can do with it because you don't have to there's a wheel hole right there i literally just ran this thing through my time machine it was like oh i guess it goes like this but now i broke apart all the pieces and i know where they go but this was my first run at it and i was like i don't think it's supposed to look like that but um yeah so i wanted to show you guys because it was kind of funny to me so you can make them flat i don't know if this has a picture let's see <clears throat> no it's not i actually went to the neat and tangled website and looked for some ideas on what to do so you can make them somewhat one dimensional so that the truck lays on the paper and you just uh, like stuff something behind it you can make them topless you can make the back open um there's some other trucks downstairs that i've been giving away for the holidays that are very cute the top opens their candies inside and the other one their bag open uh the back opens and the candies inside and just having fun with the different mixes and, and and how detailed like you can literally put the grill and the lights and the license plate and runner lights and i mean you can i mean look at that you can really have fun with that so um yeah it's a high ticket item but it's something that you can use over and over and over so I pulled the trigger on it. I'm glad I did. Um, everybody will be getting a truck, I'm sure. Okay, so that's neat and tangled. Um, I don't know if I have any of the dome cards here. Let me go through and see if I do. Oh, I do, okay. So this is that dome one that I was just showing you from My Favorite Things, and it's really fun. I didn't do the inlay for the piece right here, um, on the other ones I have made the cut right here, but this one I just did. Isn't that kind of cute? I really like it. Now the, um, the shaker piece itself, it does not have adhesive on it. So you have to do the gluing and be careful because you very easily can have the glue seep out if you put too much and push. 
So be very careful or make sure it's like a translucent type of glue. That was something I learned very quickly. Let me silence my phone here. Okay, so let's see if there's any other dyes. No. Oh, this was one of my new um, Pranilla Nilsen digital dyes, uh, digital stamps. Isn't that cool? I got that from Pranilla Nilsen. I'm not sure if that one's free or not. She has so many really cool images on her website, or on her Facebook, I should say. So just wanted to show you guys that snowman. All right, now let me do a little happy mail, then back to the stores. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the oldest, cause I know I haven't talked to you guys in a really long time and some people are like, hey, are you still alive? Yes, I am. I've been working a lot and I'm trying to catch up with work and do extra overtime work because I'm going on vacation in like a week or so and I'm so excited. So this was from my friend, Pat. She goes by Patty Cakes. She's an amazing artist. You guys know of her from um, that manila folder, folder pocketbook that she had made that one time that we all love. So she sent me this for Halloween and I kept it in here so I could show you guys. She had this really cool clip on here, which I've saved. Here, let me grab it so I can show you. This guy right here. Isn't this so cute? She had it all clipped together with this black cat. I mean, it's so creative. She has packed it with a bunch of spider web, like doilies. A really cool, like, Halloween book kind of thing. Um, what is that? Oh, here's the the really cool paper straw she gave me to do some paper lollipops. And also, there is some beautiful, beautiful nail polish. And what I think is so funny about that is um, I literally just got my nail, my toes done this color like two weeks ago. So it's so funny how I get my nails done a certain color, then somebody sends me that color. I think it's hilarious. But a ton of really cool stuff in here. There's some sugar, that's all very delicate, but some sugar skulls and things like that. So let me show you what is in this cool little envelope here. It is, look at this, she decorated it all very cute. And she sent me candy too, that's in my fridge. It's a pocket letter and I have to be very careful because there's a lot of confetti and sequins in here that come out. But she sent the coolest pocket page. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And she packed this thing with so much cool stuff. Washi tape, um, felt embellishments. I mean, I could make a bunch of stuff with everything she included in here. So Pat, thank you so much. I really, really, really do love this. I just wanted to show, um, show it to everybody. So there's that. Okay, let's put that aside. And now I can use everything. All right, now, um, I went to Honeybee and I've been dying to show you guys this. I'm so glad I'm doing the video today. I went ahead and I got the, is it called the, yeah, the Blah Bunny. And you guys remember the other one that was like, I can't adult today bunny that was laying on the floor. Well, when they came out with this one, I just knew um, I had to have it. I just love the facial expressions I, and, and the sentiments. It wasn't me, I can explain humbug without you blue Chris I just think these are so cute so um, I've made a lot of stuff with these bunnies already and there's bunnies floating around my craft room everywhere I absolutely love this stamp set um, I don't have anything else that's in reach to show you right now but really cute it's a larger stamp set and you get a ton of sentiments in here too then I also got some of their embellishments because I love their embellishments. These are the little snowballs and I've already made a shaker dome um, with one of my MFT Yetis and a bunch of snowballs. I think they're so cute. And then this one is called the Rainbow Mix. It's a bunch of different sizes of these beautiful rhinestones. I'm sure you guys have seen them in their um, on their website. But they really do shine. I don't know if this is doing it justice, but they really do bring any shaker to life so i got those two along with this stamp set from honeybee okay moving on um let me do another happy mail real quick and then we'll get back to some more stores so this is going to be kind of a combination 
Uh, April sent me a holiday card. It was actually my very first Hanukkah card. Thank you so much, April, for remembering. It's down in the display. It was the first Hanukkah card we've received, so it's down in the family area. And I also received a really nice card from Jude, too, for the holidays, and that is down there. And then, and oh, sorry, here's the one from Jude right here in my hand. I thought I put it down there already. <clears throat> the one from Cynthia is down there. So this is from Jude and she made this just for me. She included the mushrooms and the little acorn house here. It's beautiful, you guys. And it's three dimensional. Isn't that so nice? Look at the glitter on the acorn, the pine cone, I should say. She really took her time on this. But here is what I really want to show you guys. Some of you may have gotten this from her. It's a sequin mix that she assembled and there's scissors in there. Let's see. Do you see the little scissors? Is that not so cute? I absolutely adore it. Thank you, Jude. So there's that. And my friend Pamela Parks in Vegas, she made me this card right here for Thanksgiving. And the turkey actually has the little strings on there. Isn't that nice? She makes really cute cards. She made me a really nice one for Thanksgiving as well. And look at her signature. Pamela Parks, Hallmark Knot. Oh, is this say right here? Oh my gosh, let's see this, if we can read it together. Um, enclosed is a handmade card. As such, it deserves a place of honor and respect in your home and should not be casually discarded like an ordinary store mark store bought card. I didn't even see that. I love it. I don't know where she got that stamp, but I want it. Okay. The next and last thing, well actually next, I have one more besides that. It's from my friend Karen in Ireland. Hi Karen. Um, she sent me a ton of stuff. I'm not going to show you all of it, um, but I'm going to show you most of it. She sent me a bunch of these adorable little felt Santas and there's these little mustache things like this that you can add on and make them three-dimensional. And these beautiful golden deer heads. They're wood. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's a ton of these in here. Um, so I don't want to pull them out because I will lose all the little pieces. So I'm going to have fun with that. She also sent me some really cool, uh, I'm assuming this is holiday candy from her part of the, the world and I'm going to share that with the family and she sent me these beautiful like colored postcards a mushroom two mushrooms of course the ladybugs and some beautiful butterflies so I'm actually going to color these up and most likely send one to her so that I absolutely love thank you and now this is my last happy mail that I'm going to do right now this is from my friend Addison. My friend Addison is, uh, I think she's seven years old. Um, let's see here. She lives up in Rhode Island and we've become Happy Mail friends and I sent her a little Shopkins kind of art kit and she made me this. This is so sweet. I love to see like a young artist really getting into it. She made me a paper clip for my planner. Isn't that nice? And look at this card. Isn't this so cute? She stamped it everywhere, put a little heart there. I am so happy. Thank you for my stuff. I thought that was adorable. This is probably one of my most favorite happy mails I've ever received. No offense anybody else, but this just touches my heart. And she decorated this envelope so, so, so nice if you want to see it. Very, very nice. Okay. so. On to the next store. Um, okay, I did a lot of eBay and Amazon shopping just because I was on there for the holidays. Um, oh, sorry, this last thing from uh, Karen. It's been sitting right in front of my face. She sent this beautiful wooden, oops, sorry, this beautiful wooden mushroom. And it's an ornament, I guess, for the holidays. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna put it up there on my shelf with my other mushroom I got from Ficretta. I absolutely love this. I think it's so adorable, thank you. Okay, back to eBay and Amazon. So I bought a ton of these little uh, paper clips. I remember one time April had sent me some, I think it was animal paper clips, and I used them a lot. 
and I didn't know where she had gotten them, so I searched Amazon and I finally found some. But these are kitty ones. If you see, there's a mix of different cats and colors and things in here. And uh, this is too. So I got some cat ones for my cat friends out there, so I'm going to be sending them some cat paper clips. I thought those, and they were so affordable. It's like a dollar thirty or something. And then went on to the animal thing. I found these on eBay. Um, they had a ton of different animals, not just dogs, but I only picked out the dog ones. A little min pin. What is it? Pomeranian. A schnauzer. A shih tzu. And then another Pomeranian. And what you do is this dog house actually pops open to be three dimensional. And this is what it looks like. You pull the sticky notes off of the front like that. Isn't that cute? It literally is like a little dog house and then you pull the sticky notes. I think these are so cute. So I was going to send some things to my cat friends and some things to my dog friends. And um, sticking with eBay, I found a stationery shop on there and they had a ton of stuff, everything from journals to stationery to envelopes and they had a special going and I got, it's basically three sets of these little, I don't know what you want to call them, but they're just like little journals. They're blank inside. The pages are kind of decorated, but um, I got all three of these for $5. I thought that was a great deal. So you end up getting 12 books and they're all a little different. Let's see here. So really nice soft cover and you see it's just like basically a little journal. You could make some cool traveling notebook kind of booklets out of these because they're thin enough and they have the staple binded pages there for you to put the, the cord through if you want to make a traveler's notebook kind of deal. So I got uh, three sets of those, like I said, and I'm going to be giving a lot of these away for the holidays. Actually, all of them. Okay, and so the next thing I got was right here it's mini envelopes I thought these were gonna be the right size for gift cards but I think I guessed wrong I'm not very good in centimeters but these were supposed to be for some gift cards I was giving away but um, anyways I got these I think for like a dollar fifty I believe it's a 12 pack of envelopes and now I need to figure out a way to uh, make it work because it's not the right size. Okay, next I got these from that very same shop that I got the uh, planners from. They're just little brown bags. It's, I think, six or ten of these little brown bags just to put goodies in. So when I send, um, I don't know, happy mail or goodies or things like that, I could just shove them in there. So, like that. Very simple. Very cute. Um, I didn't know that it had script on the bottom and it does not make any sense to me. I'm going to go and read it to you. Let me know if it makes sense to you. Don't let it get you down. It will be over. It will be over with soon. I don't know if I was in the wrong category, like if I was in the sympathy category, memorial category, I don't know. I just saw a brown paper, a fawn. Nah, okay, good deal, I'll give them. <laughs> so who am I gonna give this to? Don't let it get you down. It'll be over with soon. Like, who am I gonna send this to? I feel really stupid about that. Okay. Um, I also found some stationary papers for like three something. This one is blocked off, so you've got your time slots and categories of subjects. And I switched over. I now have a new planner. And it is, I think they're the one from Michael, so it's that three ring system, which is very similar to um, another system I have, so this can work on both. This one is just blank. It has just the blocks, and then just some girly stuff, and it kind of varies with the different girls, but again, it was like a dollar something each pad, so very happy about that. And again, with that stationery store with the brown envelopes, I also got these. These are just big like gift envelopes. But I thought they were like envelopes that you could mail in the mail, but they're more like bags. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna go back to that store because what I really thought I was getting, I didn't get 
so much of. They are pretty, but they're not, they're not like the type of envelope that you can actually mail. So very pretty though. I think they were like two bucks. So I'll use them as goodie bags. Okay, now I'm going to show you some other stuff. While I was on eBay, I found a girl who still had the Happy Birthday Anya stamp. And I don't know if you guys remember this stamp, but um, it's the one where she's got the birthday cake on her headband. And I absolutely love this one and I have not been able to find it. I keep going back to the farmer's market and seeing if they will have it there, but they don't. So I found a girl on eBay who sold it to me for $11. So I'm very excited to have it. I try to collect all Greeting Farm stamps. So we got that one. Um, then I was actually at Joann's the other day and I got a bunch of um, cardstock. I think this was like after Black Friday is when I went, or. Black Friday, I don't know. And they were having a really good deal on the, the card stock. I think it was like five for 10. And I love their 110 pound card stock. Again, sorry for that background noise, guys, if you can hear all that. Um, but they also are doing those Mama Elephant and Hampton Art stamp and die sets that they typically, um, you know, don't do these sets through Mama Elephant and I could not believe what I found. I found a whole section of them in my Joann's, which they never do these in my Joann's. I have to drive down to Miami for these. For $5, they had every single one. They had this one, this one, there was a reindeer one, there was a snowman, a snowflake. Um, I bought, I think like six of these and five of these. So I'm going to be sending some out as gifts and I'm also going to be putting some on eBay after the holidays. So really good deal. If you guys, um, if this video happens to get up in 2017 in December, go to Joann's and see if they still have these really good deal. And I'm so excited. Everybody's been getting uh, a deer in house stamp set, but I just got these the other day. So your cards will be in the mail. Okay. Then, I went on Amazon, of course. I should just, I should really say I got off of Amazon because I'm always on there. I think you guys are too. And I found this and I thought that can't be right. It said $2.99 as an add-on item. I'm like, what? If you spent $25, you know how you, they do the add-ons. $2.99 for an add-on item. Could not believe it. So you get this whole entire stamp set and this whole entire tag die set really really surprised so um i s just swooped that up 2.99 couldn't beat it all right now let me show you another happy meal and then i'll show you my last two items all right this one i actually just got today um this is from my friend cynthia and her card is the one that's also downstairs so she wrapped it so beautiful her presentation was just amazing um, she made, this was tied, she made this very beautiful pocket letter booklet and there's a lot of little details in here so try to catch it if you can. She has packed each pocket and she even made them with a little angle there. I mean, she really, really made a beautiful gift here. She sent me these poppy stamps with all these mushrooms. I love it, I love it, I love it. Happy birthday to a really fun guy. No truffle at all. You can do it. Moral support. I love it. And this is, oh, she says I'm a magnet. Let's see. I have a little um, magnet wall over here. Yep, it's a magnet. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. It's on my magnet wall. Okay, so I'm gonna put this guy back in here. She did a phenomenal job. She made a really pretty shaker tag. I mean, literally the tag is a shaker. I wonder if I can take that off. Oh, I can. And it says, eat, sleep, ski. And she has packed that with just li little, little beads and stars. Very gorgeous. And then she put something really pretty in here. It's like she made it in her own pocket and it's got some ephemera for winter time. This beautiful tree. Look how she put the gems on there, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? I love it. These beautiful snowflakes. And then she packed it with just goodness. 
just goodness. Oh, look at all these words. Petite dictation, or diction, I should say. Very, very nice. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at the coloring. That is amazing. Look at that blue. It's just like electric blue. I love it in the heart. The tree, Brad. Look at the Brad down there at the bottom. Oh my goodness. And then look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at these cute tags. Oh, these are adorable. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, I'm going to start singing. Oh my gosh. Got to wrap this up. And then, oh, a beautiful clip here. And I think, yep, there's some stuff in the back here. Oh my gosh, she said tea. Oh, how perfect. Nightly calm, green tea and chai. What a perfect addition to this. Cynthia, thank you so much. And of course, this beautiful heart clip here. And there's a lot of other little details, but I don't want to spend the whole video, but I just, I love this. I love it when you guys make creative things like this. This, I'm going to go over and look at all the little fine details and play with the stamps. Thank you so much. Okay, the last two things I got, um, I finally bit the bullet and I did the Michael sale. Now, some of the things I don't have here to show you because, um, oh, and I have one more thing. Um, because I've given them away as gifts already. But I went planner crazy. Anybody who ever like showed interest in a planner or talked about a planner, they had liked a planner, they were having such a good deal on Michaels and I stacked my coupons, I ended up buying like seven planners. One for myself, one for my girlfriend, uh, two to give away, and then the rest out for friends. So I um, also bought this guy that I've wanted for so long. It's the big classic. 365 paper punch which I'm sure you guys are familiar with the disc system so I did not use my old 365 planner again because I was waiting to buy one of these guys so just for the heck of it I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and we will do a punch just so I can show you how it works which I'm sure you guys know how it works but um, you put in your sheet right here it's telling you max sheet, so we'll go this way. Right there. And this fits the big and small planner. You just have to align it right. Because I have um, two sizes of them. You see? And then you have your disc system. I don't know if that's oil on there. But I really, really like it. And if you guys aren't familiar with it, here, let me show you. This is the mini one. So I also have the very big one. That's the first one I started out with. So this one kind of just, you know, clips on there so you see what I mean you can make big or small you just have to align it right so yes I could have gotten the we are memory keepers one that you buy all the little pieces parts for but this actually came out to be cheaper than if I would have bought that one along with all the discs that you have to add so I'm very happy I got it for a really good deal I also got this guy here the dilutions creative journal I didn't know the paper was black. I'm like, wow, that's such a good deal. I couldn't believe how cheap this was. I think it's because the paper was black, but that's okay. I'm gonna do um, some of my, you know, my gel writing and my brush lettering and things like that. There's a little pocket here, and the pages are really thick. You can paint on there, and um, but I'm gonna use it for my brush lettering with my metallic paints and some of the paints that Brianna sent me. So really good deal on that I think I got this thing for four dollars so very happy about that okay now the very last thing you guys have probably seen this thing a thousand times so now you're gonna see it a thousand and one I got the Simon Says Stamp uh, December kit with that stamp set the little paper pack here with some cute you know holiday papers in there the little Delicata rose gold ink which I love I actually stamped this out. It's like a little menorah, if you guys want to see the color. Isn't that pretty? It's like a rose gold, like it says, rose gold. And then they also give you some paper and some glitter paper. They give you these papers right here, these glitter papers, along with a blue glitter paper. So um, I'm not going to lie, I don't like the stamp set at all. I do like the papers, and also, sorry, there's more. 
a candy, which I love, and these cute little Simon Says Stamp with Doodle Bug um, shape sprinkles. Aren't those cute? I do like those. But I don't like the stamp set. So I'm going to end up giving that out. What is, is there something else in the back? I'm so bad about that. I'm, I always <laughs> throw things away. Oh, I didn't know that. There's um, something else in there. Oh my gosh. I really need to look in my bags. Okay. I don't know what these are. Maybe it says on the sheet. What are those? Okay, confetti sequins. Okay, so confetti sequins. I've never seen these before. Do you guys know what those are? They're like plasticky. Let's see. Come on, camera. Hello. There we go. They're like literally like little pieces of plastic. Like if you hole punched different colors of plastic. Different. Um, so back to what I was saying. I like everything but the stamp set. So I'm going to give this away. So I'll probably be doing another giveaway. I know you guys have not had a giveaway from me in a while, but I promise you, this is what I vow. When I come back from vacation and my year has started fresh, I'm going to do a very nice giveaway and I'm going to give away some really cool stuff. So this will be included in there. So if you guys are liking that stamp set, definitely stay tuned for when I tell you I'm going to do the new year giveaway. All right, I think that is it now. I think I have showed you everything that I got that I have been collecting for Happy Mail. And if not, then I'll put it in the next one. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, but definitely come back for more. Thanks guys, happy holidays.